Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do dry fan from Xinjiang. So where my parents are from. It's uh, got a few different names. You can call it Palaf, Polo, uh, depending on where, you, where you're from. So it essentially translates to eating with your hands. What we're going to need is two onions, a kilo of carrots, a lot of lamb. So we've got some chops, some offcuts. This is about almost two kilos of meat here. And we're also going to need five cups of rice, medium grain. This has been washed already. And then we're going to need some boiling water to assist us when we're making the pilaf. So let's go. Just add some oil. A decent amount because we've got a lot of meat. Swish that around your wok. So add all that lamb to the pan. We want to stir fry this around for quite some time. Remove the moisture from the lamb. Develop some nice brown color. You want to add some salt early on, which will help with picking up all that moisture, absorbing it, and speed up the process. All right, so the meat has been cooking for about 15 minutes, although it's going to vary depending on how much meat you use, what cut of meat you're using. So there's so many um, factors that are going to come into play. You just want to get most of the moisture cooked out. So the less moisture, the better. At this point, we're going to just add some salt and pepper. Salt. Pepper. Add your carrots. And onions. We want to cook this for a further five or so minutes until the carrots are softened and have absorbed that lamb fat. All right guys, so obviously there's a lot of meat uh, in this dry fan. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna remove the big pieces with bones. This is what we're left with, and it's time for the next step. So we're gonna add our washed medium grain rice. Now we just wanna flatten the rice. So it's all at a similar height. You want to be gentle with this. And add in some hot water. As you can hear the cooking process is changing. So we used three cups of water to five cups of rice. Essentially what you want is for that rice to be sort of covered and the water to be a little bit higher than the rice, just as you see now. Add the meat that we removed before back in. Now you just want to add some more salt on top, a bit of pepper. Lid on. Reduce your heat. And you will be simmering for 25 to 30 minutes. Just give it a mix. It's been going for 25 minutes now. Now we've given it a mix. We're just going to turn the heat off. Lid back on and let it steam in its own heat for a further five to 10 minutes. Time to play it up. Beautiful bowl. Wouldn't you love a long day of work, come home to dinner and this is in your bowl in front of you. 
Can't complain with that. Give it a taste. Spot on. That's exactly what you want. The uh, fat and the flavor from the lamb is all absorbed into the rice. As you can see, the color is a bit changed. Soft carrots, soft onions, beautiful meat. Absolutely, I grew up on this stuff, I love it. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna do more videos from my hometown, Chinese recipes. So if you liked it, please give it a like, please comment, any ideas, suggestions, and hit that subscribe button. See you next time.